Hello, hello. Welcome to Grow Restore Ministries, where we talk about the reconciliation, restoration, and resurrection power of Yeshua. I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm so honored to have this opportunity to be a vessel used by God to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Family, it is time for you to get your Isaiah 54 1 shout going. It is time for you to break out with shouts of joy. It is time for you to break forth and to cry aloud, singing, God has triumphed gloriously. Hallelujah. What is Isaiah 54 1 all about? It is about a people shouting, giving praises to God. God regarding their promise of salvation, regarding their promise of restoration. They gave God the praise shout in advance. I'm here to tell you to praise him, to break out with praises in this hour, because in this hour, there is a glory breakout taking place. The Lord says a glory breakout is here. Glory. Hallelujah. Family, get ready to see the Micah 213 breaker breakthrough for you. The hour has come for him to demonstrate his power. Glory. Hallelujah. The hour has come for you to sing your victory song. Glory. Hallelujah. The hour has come for you to dance upon the ashes of the enemy, singing God has has triumphed gloriously. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Oh my goodness. Family, on September the 12th, I was standing out on my patio when just suddenly a, a downpour of an abundance of rain hit the land. As I stood there and I was listening to this incredible prophetic sound of this rain that was taking place. And I was watching the rain just hit the ground and just so quickly soak the ground. There was a stirring within my spirit. There was an expectation within me that was increasing. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, break out. Glory. Hallelujah. From that moment on, he began to speak to me about this breakout, this glory breakout that is now here. And I have been seeing it family. He has been demonstrating his restoration power, his reconciliation power, and his resurrection power in my life like I've never seen before, right before my very eyes. It's not another email. It's, it's not something I'm just hearing about. I'm literally getting to see God demonstrate his power in the lives of his people, people that he has put around me that I have, uh, had the honor to get to know and to, to watch their faith journey, I have begun to see God demonstrate his power in their lives. I have begun to see them break out with shouts of joy. I have begun to see them break out with tears of too good to be true. I myself have broken out with those because of what I'm seeing in front of my eyes. Glory. Hallelujah. So Holy Spirit said, break out. And then he took me to 2 Samuel 5, verse 20. Please get the word of God out. Deep is calling unto deep. This is some really good stuff. Go sit with him and allow him to continue to just minister to you beyond just the, the few scriptures that I will be sharing with you all. If you don't have a Bible, please send me an email and Roar of Restore Ministries will get you a Bible free of charge if you live within the United States. Thanks to amazing brothers and sisters in Christ who have pulled together like a families do to make things happen. Thank you, Father God, for your people, for your faithful, faithful people. Glory. Hallelujah. So 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 20, it says, so David came to Baal Perazim and defeated them there. And he said, the Lord has broken through my enemies before me like the breakthrough of waters. Therefore, he named that place Baal Perazim. I just absolutely love this. I love how the Holy Spirit led me there. I love what he is speaking to us all in this hour. Family, hear what he is speaking to you. Second Samuel 520 
is talking about a place of victory. It is talking about a place where there was a victory and defeat over the enemies. It's talking about a place where uh, someone gets to watch God deal with the enemies. Glory, hallelujah. Hear what he is saying. He has been showing me continually a people who has been in a spiritual sense standing at a Red Sea. You've been standing and, and, and it's like that 11th hour and you've done all you could do. You've gone as far as you could go. You prayed all the prayers. You've done all the fasting. You've hoped against all hope. You have held in there, but now you are standing there and you are just waiting waiting for God to do what only God could do. You are waiting for God to manifest that victory. Glory, hallelujah. And he is manifesting himself in this hour. Yeshua is manifesting himself in this hour. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. So you are waiting for him to manifest that victory. And you are also waiting for him to once and for all deal with your enemies. I'm here to tell you, family, that the hour has come for the Micah 2.13 breaker to break through for you, to, to demonstrate his victory power in your life and to cause you, to give you the, the honor, the privilege of watching him drown out your enemies forevermore. Glory, hallelujah. Baal Perazim means Lord of the breakthroughs. Glory, hallelujah. It means owner of breakings through. Are you hearing what he is saying? You are in a position of victory. You are in the right place. And I have continued to hear Father God say, your faith has made room for him. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. So as Holy Spirit led me here, and whenever I was reading the the, uh, the how the enemies before me like the breakthrough of waters, he immediately took me back to a holy visitation that I had with him in um, April of 2022. And I released the prophetic word on that um, called, for his namesake, he will do it. Because what happened was the Lord had told me that I was going to be having another holy visitation. I absolutely love holy visitations. If you have not had one, then I encourage you to ask the Lord to give you one. He is faithful to do so. So I knew that another one was coming, um, but I never know the day or the hour. He always surprises me with it. So I was surprised at 348 when I woke up and I heard his audible voice say, for my namesake, I will do it. And of course, I was speechless because if you've ever been in the presence of the Lord like that, it leaves you speechless. So as I laid there, I then heard him again. And this time he said, tell them for my namesake, I will do it. Well, then he ended up putting me into a deep sleep and I, I, I could feel myself going into this deep sleep and I knew that it was him. And man, I just wish he wouldn't do that, but he just has this way of putting me back into a deep sleep in these holy visitations. And, and I, I don't want it to end, but he puts me into that deep sleep. And right when I was out, then suddenly I had um, awoken to the sound of a loud rushing water. I'm not going to read all of that prophetic word, but that happened, that holy visitation on April the 4th, 2022, and that word was released. But he did take me back to a scripture that he had given me at that time. And it's Isaiah 35 verses four through six. And this is out of the Passions translation. The Lord says, say to the anxious and fearful, be strong and never afraid. Look, here comes your God. He is breaking through to give you victory. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. I'm so excited, family, about this word. He comes to avenge your enemies. With divine retribution, he comes to save you. Then blind eyes will open and deaf ears will hear. Then the lame will leap like playful deer and the tongue tied will sing songs of triumph. Gushing water will spring up in the wilderness and streams will flow through the desert. Glory, hallelujah. 
he has been very consistent in talking about demonstrating his victory power in the lives of his people. He has been very consistent about talking about your victory as well as him dealing once and for all with your enemies. He has been talking about your song of triumph. And again, the hour is here for you to sing your Isaiah 54 1 song of triumph because family, the breaker is breaking through for you. Give him a praise shout right now. In this very hour, the spirit of God is working on that situation, on that condition, on that thing that you have been talking to him about. His spirit is working on it. He is working on it and he is bringing it about in this hour. Again, he says a glory breakout is here. Glory. Hallelujah. He was showing me how there is a breakout of victories upon victories upon victories breakouts of restorations upon restorations upon restorations a breakout of testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies a breakout of breakthroughs upon breakthroughs upon breakthroughs glory hallelujah and he has been speaking to me about these breakthroughs these miraculous miracles these promises fulfilled that are happening in this hour he has been speaking how he is using these to demonstrate his power. He's demonstrating his faithfulness in your life, in the one who has kept the faith. He's also demonstrating his power so that others will see. He continually uh, takes me back to that moment with uh, Lazarus, when Mary and Martha and all those that were around witnessed that, uh, that miracle, witnessed the resurrection power of God. And scripture says that all of those who, who witnessed the miraculous, the, the miracle came to believe in God. They came to know God. He has been talking to me about these promises fulfilled in your household, how it's going to be a memorial for him all the days of your lives and how it is going to be used to draw people to him. Glory, hallelujah. So Holy Spirit is also taking us to Ruth chapter 4, verse 12. I absolutely love this. He's been highlighting Ruth 4. Ruth 4 represents a final chapter. We're in the fourth chapter of Ruth, the final chapter. The Lord keeps talking uh, to me, uh, telling me that he is finalizing things. He's bringing a finality to things. And so here in Ruth 4, we see where there is a finality to some things. We see two women who had gone through some stuff. They had gone through a season of suffering. They had gone through a harsh, brutal winter season, but they came to a Ruth 4. They came to a chapter 4. They came to a place of victory. They came to a place in which God restored all, in which God redeemed all. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Ruth Chapter 4, verse 12 says, Moreover, may your house be like the house of Perez. And I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to trust that you all are going to go deeper with him. I'm going to trust that you all are getting excited right now under the sound of my voice and that you're hungry and thirsty for more of him. So you're going to go to Ruth 4 and you're going to see and, and hear more of what he is speaking to you personally in this hour. But I will give you a heads up. What he is talking about is this that he is doing in your household. Perez means a breakout. Perez means a break forth. Perez, when he's talking about Perez, and he's talking about you and the generations to come. Glory, hallelujah. So again, this miraculous miracle that he does within your household will be talked about for generations to come. You are a generational chain breaker. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Because of your faith, you have changed the generations to come. Glory, hallelujah. The generations to come will be talking about your faith. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. So go over to Ruth uh, chapter four, allow the Holy Spirit to continue to speak to you. He's been speaking to me through this. And, and I'm just telling you the time of celebrations 
has arrived. The time for you to celebrate has arrived. He has been just showing me many uh, restorations that have already taken place, many more that are coming forth because there is a breakout. Glory, hallelujah, within the land. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. And these breakouts that are coming forth, he's using those, glory, hallelujah, to draw others unto him. He's going to use your restoration testimony to help bring further change within the church, to help bring further change within the land. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. It was all for the kingdom. You went through what you went through for the kingdom. Now the kingdom of God, glory, hallelujah, has drawn near to you. Glory, hallelujah. Your faith has made room for him. Glory, hallelujah. So the glory breakout is here. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Because breakouts of testimonies, of victories, of restorations, glory, hallelujah, are coming forth in this hour. And breakouts of shouts of too good to be true are coming forth in this hour. Glory, hallelujah. Breakouts of tears of too good to be true are coming forth in this hour. He's just getting started, family. Glory, hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for glorifying yourself in the lives of your people. Thank you, Father God, for, for the breakthroughs, for the restorations, for the miracles, Father God, for the testimonies, Father God, coming forth out of households. Glory, hallelujah. The Micah 2.13 breaker is breaking through for you. Break out, family. Break out with the praise shout. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. Family, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith, and I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.